Well, so now let's look at what the stories are on the front and back pages of the newspapers. All right, I've got the Daily Graphic right here. BA tops in exam fraud in 2014. Wasi. Uh, uh, we're told that five, as in one, four out of five, mm. uh, cheated. In, have you ever cheated in, in an exam? Uh, I wanted to once, but yeah. I couldn't get the gas to move whatever I had put on. You wanted to? Yeah, the no, the spirit was willing. But the soul was weak. No, the body was weak. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, but was, so it's actually was, one out, just, out of every five. I, I was just thinking about, well, if I was caught. Yeah. The whole... The consequences, yeah. yeah. I was I mean, always besides, afraid it, it, it to was not to I was a bad student. So yeah. Why should I even try it? Yeah, exactly. But this, this story says that one out of every five, so it's one out of every five candidates in the 2014 West... Africa Senior School Certificate Examination in the Bono Ahafo region was involved in examination more practices that ranked the region as the topmost in examination more practices for 2014 with over 4,000 cases. So an official of the West African Examination Council uh, made this known and he said that 8,051 candidates in the 2014 uh, WASI were involved in examination malpractices, 8,051, and Bonoha for topping that. Why have we become interested, students, I'm asking you, in cheating in examination? Why don't you just produce what you think you, you, know, you can produce and let it be? Sometimes you actually cheat, you copy the wrong things, you have no <laughs> idea. Uh, also on the front page of the Daily Graphic, mastermind of police recruitment scam, arrested and TechPa presents fiscal statement today back page of the daily graphic Qatar sea defense project to be expanded my interest says the government has put in place pragmatic measures to expand the Qatar sea defense project in the Volta region to benefit more communities I want to keep reading uh, because I want to understand those pragmatic measures and when the job really will be done. In the meantime, we know that a lot of communities along the coast are suffering. We need that defense ASAP. That's it for the Daily Graphic. Front page of the Daily Guide has a story, I'm a dead goat, says Mahama. <laughs> um, okay, and D day for Woyume, um, we know today. Uh, Republic Bank pays one million Ghana City fine from the Securities and Exchange Commission. And uh, I just want to read a bit about um, President Mahama says he is unperturbed by a series of demonstrations and agitations against his administration, and like the proverbial dead goat, he was not afraid of death. Okay. Okay. He said he, he, he said he is quoted to have said that when you kill a goat and you frighten it with a knife, it doesn't fear the knife because it is dead already. He said, for which reason I have a dead goat syndrome. Okay, that was funny. Well, but what is a dead goat syndrome? What's that? I think the, the the thing he painted about if a goat was already dead mm. and you try to split it up with a knife, etc. Yeah. So he's to, already dead. Is that it? It means that he's already used to the demonstrations and things. Uh. So all he ne he's doing is just focus on what needs to be done properly. Okay. It's just you know the dead goats thing that I I don't kind of understand. You know, it's more like so are you a dead man walking or mm. you know that kind of thing. All right. <laughs> uh, let me let me do a story has caught my attention in the graphic. This one is on uh, page 34. It's a girl impregnated at 13, Ooh. and she's looking for public support. Yeah, Whew, very sad. Uh, but if you you might want to extend a Ooh, hand of support, uh, it's it's a very detailed mm. story. You haven't had uh, the the opportunity to read every everything, uh, but. You know, this is it. You can prob you can probably see. A, maybe you might want to grab the paper and then you can read a lot more details for yourself. Mm. But it's on page wow. thirty-four. Uh, the bomb is. So the girl at thirteen was. At thirteen uh, was raped. It was a rape issue. Okay, no, I don't think it was pre because she says that she's sexually active really? at the time she went to the hospital. But she was raped. But but I. Yeah. Defilement okay, because the department, community bond and, okay. and the law. Yeah. So yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, but. Uh, the, I think so the much issue is she needs support. If somebody could adopt, adopt her, and then mm. you know when the baby comes out, you take care of the baby. Mm. That would be really, really good. I think you should do yeah. that because it won't be bad. Yeah, I would love to. Sure, actually. sure. Okay, so we'll get her number and quickly. I'm sure 
it will just be doing those. The Guardian Times constitutional crisis looms as Assembly's mandate expires tomorrow. And we have a picture there of uh, the director for the Institute of uh, Local Government Studies, Dr. Esther Ofea Bwaji. And we also have um, Mr. Joseph Yelichri, who is uh, a member of parliament. GDA prosecutors are ordered to produce witnesses or the case will be struck out of court. Uh, Public Accounts Committee quizzes Finance Ministry and MPC to dialogue with religious bodies. Back page, satellite brace for Zambia test today, and we express strong resistance That's the man, Salas Tete. Okay. Those are the stories we mm. have. I've got the Chronicle newspaper, front page of the Chronicle, $20 million donor cash pops up from nowhere, comes with Kesel Atul. Uh, bar forcing the deputy finance minister it's got a picture of him on the front page also Volta chiefs now NDC campaign managers there's one Toby Dagadu featured on the front page and Juma and Dites NPP executives also NHIA capitation train lands in Volta back page Hafet Thompson evicted from MTN Soccer Academy. Uh, you might want to read a lot more details on that, but that will be it for the Chronicle. And that's it for the papers, is it? All right. So yeah, but just be, quickly right. uh, to my joy online. Mm. Uh, because uh, the Industrial and Commercial Workers Union has confirmed that about 550 of their mem members have so far been affected by ongoing retrenchment exercises by industries and businesses so several mm. businesses and factories in the country are set to lay off more workers in the coming months uh, meanwhile we know that beverage giants coca-cola has already begun laying off workers as it confirms that a total of 211 of its workforce will be going home by june this year because uh, of the energy crisis. Yeah, the, because of the challenges uh, that we're, we're faced with. I mean, economy is not doing well. Then we have also the power crisis. And then, uh, sadly, Talo Oil is also revealing that they're going to be laying people off, not because of power, but because of the low prices in crude. Uh, and so it's not a good time. It's not a good time, really. And be careful. I think this is the time that we all have to take our jobs seriously because businesses could easily use the excuse and it's not just excuse i think it's a it's it's a proper excuse power crisis a lot of people having to pay a lot more to power the generators and the generators also have to be serviced if not weekly for those plant machines then we're talking monthly so take your job seriously that's all i'm saying because the next minute you may not have a job well, we'll have to take a break when we come back we'll have a lot more for you Thank you.